Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today, we're gonna cover tips for getting the most out of attending an RV show. When you get here and you have to go through security, remember you can't bring in any outside food or drinks and you can't have anything like a pen knife or pocket knife in your pocket. You'll also need to have your tickets handy and they will go through your backpack when you go through security. So when you first walk in the RV show, you can usually grab a program and a map and then a big bag from one of the vendors to carry around and put all your brochure material in, but we have a better idea than that. So rather than grab a brochure at every RV that you stop at and end up with a giant bag full of brochures by the end of the day, we like to use our phone and then we record every RV that we like or we want to remember. You know, after you attend an RV show, it's all just one big blur because you see so many RVs, it's ridiculous. So what we do is we record and we like to get the information on the outside of the RV first and then we'll actually walk through the RV and take a nice recording of the inside. Then we can remember each and every RV that we like. Try to get here nice and early. We're here first thing in the morning and the crowds are not too bad at all. Later today though, it's gonna be a different story. Some RV shows are all inside and some RV shows are outside and some are a combination of both. For example, this RV show is outside. Every RV that you wanna see is outdoors and it's on a blacktop parking lot, which is great because it's easy to walk around. You're walking on blacktop but other RV shows are outside on the grass and you might have to contend with uneven ground, tree roots in your way, little things like that. So just be prepared and know where you're gonna be walking around to see all the RVs. So another reason to know whether an RV show is indoor, outdoor, or both is because of the weather. Today it's super sunny and hot. Yesterday it was cloudy and drizzly all day and so you'll need to know what to wear. Hey, when you get to the end of the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It lets us know how we're doing, and you might just catch some really cool bloopers, too. Is there a best time to visit an RV show? Well, it depends. The weekends get super crowded, so if you can arrive early in the morning, the crowds are a lot lighter. Also, some RV shows start like on a Wednesday, so if you could show up Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, you won't have as much crowd to fight. So there are tons of RV-related vendors, of course, that show up at the RV show. One thing that you could do before you arrive, though, is print out the list of all the vendors that are going to be here, plus a map of which booth they'll be located in, and then you'll know where to go to visit particular vendors and get your questions answered. Ice cold, fresh squeezed lemonade, bottle water, popcorn! So the information booth at an RV show has maps and people on staff that can direct you wherever you need to go. Right now we're looking for the next seminar we're going to hit. Another great thing about attending an RV show is that you never really have to worry about charging your phone if you're taking video of all the RVs because a lot of them are USB equipped and you just plug it right in. Should you buy an RV at an RV show? Well, one thing is for sure, it certainly appears like they have very deep discounts at the RV show. They'll show a sticker price of $120,000 and you can buy it today for $70,000 but be aware, those deep discounts are factored in on purpose. They want you to feel like you're getting a huge discount at the RV show. You can get a great deal, but you should take your time and negotiate and come as prepared as possible so you get the best price that you possibly can. Some huge RV shows actually have used RVs for sale as well as all the new ones that are at the RV show and if they don't have the used ones at the show for sale they will have a list of inventory of used RVs on their particular deal lot that you could also make a great deal on at the RV show they're interested in making sales now 
We always recommend that you buy used if you can instead of new because of depreciation. And we feel like you'll get a much better price on your RV if you buy it used. But if you want to have all the latest and greatest features, amenities, bells and whistles, a brand new RV that no one's ever driven before, then a new RV at the RV show is a great option to buy one. One other thing to be aware of when you're at an RV show is that you probably will never be in an RV by yourself. So just be prepared to share your space, be cordial with everybody. Another great resource for learning all about RVs is your fellow RVers at the RV show. You can ask and find out all kinds of information from fellow RVers who have owned RVs or learned something new and they have something to share. So make sure you talk to everybody. You'll be sure to learn a lot of new things. Do your research before attending an RV show. If you're looking for something specific, chances are they'll have it here. And in fact, a lot of the industry reps are here. So if you have specific questions or need specifications, you can find somebody that can give you really great information. So one great resource at an RV show are all of the RV salespeople and representatives. They are a wealth of information. So if you're new to RVing or you have specific questions, don't be afraid to ask them for their opinion, advice, and information. Did you know that you can test drive an RV at an RV show? For the motorized RVs, they have a separate lot and they keep RVs over there so that if you want to buy one of these drivable RVs, they can take you over to the driving lot and you can hop in one and drive one that's similar to the one that you want to buy. And if it were me, I don't think I would ever buy an RV if I couldn't test drive it first. For towable RVs, that's a little bit of a different story, but if you are buying a toy hauler, you might want to bring your ATV or your golf cart, whatever it is that you haul around in your toy hauler and make sure it fits before you make your purchase. To check out more of our YouTube videos, just click here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell when you do. For great articles and resources all about RV, check us out at rvblogger.com. So for Mike and Susan, see you next time. Some RV shows are in weather-free locations.